Hello, my dears. So uh, we are together again. As usual, I hope you all are in good health and happy. Aren't you? Okay, let us go back uh, to our lesson. Okay, let us uh, listen here. Here is a sentence. A, co a quote from a character uh, of our story, The Mysterious Picture. Read it, please. May Your Highness pardon me for my rashness in thinking that one of my paintings will please Your Highness. Do you remember this uh, quotation? Who spoke this in the story? Sure, it is Till. Till is speaking to the Archduke of Battenberg. So, uh, Till is using this language. If we are saying the same thing, do we speak like this? Do we speak like this? This is highly formal language, highly respectful language. Do we speak like this? May your highness pardon me for my rashness in thinking that one of my paintings will please you, your highness. <laughs> Do we speak like this? No. Then how will we say uh, the same thing to a person or to the king? Can you imagine? Here, I will show you. Can you find out uh, the normal style of speaking, the same thing from these options? Can you find out the meaning of this from these options? These options. How we say the same thing? Find out. Can you find out? Which one we will say instead of this uh, sentence, this long sentence, which will we normally say? Can you find out from this option? I will show you. This is. Please pardon me for my thing for thinking that one of my paintings will please you. That's all. So instead of saying the. Uh, like this, we will just say this. Please pardon me for thinking that one of my paintings will please you. This is highly formal. And this is less formal. This is formal, but less formal. Okay? Can you get the idea? Yes. Now, next one. Another... Uh, sentence by tail. I have painted it specially so that I might lay it at your noble feet. This is said by till. And how can we normal people uh, say this? Can you find out uh, the normal saying from these options? Yes, try to find out. Okay, I will show you. I have painted it specially for you. That's all. I have painted it specially for you. For instead of this highly formal language, we can simply say like this. And this also is formal, but less formal. Can you understand the difference between Till's speaking and the normal speaking, normal language? Okay, Till's language is highly, yes, highly respectful. But this is less formal. 
Okay. Next one. I have dared to hope that this picture will please you. This is highly formal language. How can we say it less formal? Find it out from these options. Didn't you get? I hope you get the answer. Yes, I will show you. This is. I hope that this picture will please you. That's all. So what is the uh, difference between Till's uh, speaking and the normal spe way of speaking? Yes, tell me once more. What is the difference? Till's speaking is highly formal. But uh, in the same time, uh, this sentence is formal but less formal. Not highly formal, less formal. Okay, I will show you another thing. Listen, these are the uh, sentences spoken by till in highly respectful language, highly formal language. And three of them we have uh, found out how we can say it in a less formal manner. Less formal manner. And can you find out the others? Uh, there are four more sentences by tail. And just find out the less formal uh, sentences. And you can refer to our textbook, page number 26, I think. Yes, it is the page number 26. And refer the page number 26 and fill up this table. Okay. I hope you will send me uh, this table with your answers. Okay. Well, very good. Now, uh, yes, we have said that uh, Till is using highly respectful language. Highly formal language. And that is one of the speciality of uh, Till. One of the specialities of uh, Till. Using Highly respectful language. Do you know what are the other specialities of till? Can you think? Just remember, rewind the story. What are the other specialities of uh, till? Just rewind. What are the specialities of till? That is, what are the character traits of till? One we have said uses highly respectful language. And what are the other things? Do you remember? Here is one. He is a painter. Yes. Can you till, uh, think of uh, other character traits of till? Other specialities of till? Yes. He is very thin. Don't you remember the captain of the guards says that you look like a skeleton? Yes. Next specialty. He travels on a donkey. Jeff. Don't you remember Jeff? Yeah. Next. He is a wanderer. He is a wanderer. Uh, traveling without an aim. Okay. Next, he uses humor in, in his conversation. Humorous. Uh, don't you remember the sentence? I will hang myself by teeth on the mutton on the butcher's shop. Don't you remember? Isn't it humorous? That is, he uses humor in his conversation. Next, he's cunning. Is very cunning. How uh, he escaped from uh, the from Archduke, not to paint the picture. Do you remember the story? That is, he is very cunning and tricky. 
So, these are the character traits of till. From these points, we can prepare a character sketch of till. Character sketch of till. Are you ready? Shall we uh, prepare the character sketch of till? Ready? So, we are using all these points to prepare the character sketch of till. Okay. I will show you the character sketch. Here is the character sketch of Till Ulan Spiegel. Let us read it. Okay, listen to the sentences. Till is a character in the story The Mysterious Picture written by Charles D. Costa. He is a painter. He comes from Flanders. He is a wanderer. We see him at the gate of the palace of the Archduke of Battenberg. He is traveling on his donkey. He is described as thin as his skeleton. He has a cap and three feathers on it. When he rides on his donkey, these feathers dance in breeze. This strange appearance gives us a clue to his strange character. From the first sentence of the story, we can understand that Till does not live permanently on a place. He is an excellent painter. The Archduke pours him as his court painter the moment he sees his painting. Till uses highly formal language. It gives a touch of humor to the story. He is very cunning and tricky. His highly respectful language is a part of his cunningness. He uses such language to get his needs fulfilled. He uses a trick to escape the strange situation of painting the portrait of the Archduke. He fools everyone with his trick. He knows how to escape from tricky situations. He has a good sense of humor and values his own freedom and creativity. He is an interesting character. So these are the this is the character sketch of Till. How did we uh, write this character sketch? By expanding the hints we have uh, done, uh, we, have, we have seen earlier. Don't you remember? These are the character traits of Till. These points. Using these points, developing these points, we have written this character sketch. Uh, look at the first paragraph. What is there in the first paragraph of the character sketch? It is the appearance of the character till. So when we write the character sketch, in the first paragraph, we can write the appearance of the character. Then what is in the second paragraph? The second paragraph is the personality traits. Personality, person, uh, that is the qualities of the person, the character in the second paragraph. And we can conclude the character sketch with our opinion about the character. Okay. So read this, uh, this character sketch many times. Then you can understand how we can write a character sketch. Okay. Uh, do you want me to read it once more? Okay, I will read it once more. Listen to it. I think it's very simple. Is there any difficult word? If there is any difficult word, 
which you don't understand. There are two ways. First way is you can uh, uh, search in Google and if you don't get the meaning, you can ask me personally through a voice call, uh, through a call, through a voice message, etc. Okay, now I will read it once more. Character sketch of Till Ullenspiegel. Till is a character in the story The Mysterious Picture written by Charles D. Coster. He is a painter. He comes from Flanders. He is a wanderer. We see him at the gate of the palace of the Archduke of Battenberg. He is travelling on his donkey. He is described as thin as a skeleton. He has a cap and three feathers on it. When he rides on his donkey, these feathers dance in breeze. This strange appearance gives us a clue to his strange character. From the first sentence of the story, we can understand that Till does not live permanently on a place. He is an excellent painter. The Archduke pose him as his court painter the moment he sees his painting. Till use, uses highly formal language. It gives a touch of humor to the story. He is very cunning and tricky. His highly respectful language is a part of his cunningness. He uses such language to get his needs fulfilled. He uses a trick to escape the strange situation of painting the portrait of the Archduke. He fools everyone with his trick. He knows how to escape from tricky situations. He has a good sense of humor and values his own freedom and creativity. He is an interesting character. Okay. Now, let us see how we write a character sketch. Because you are going to write a character sketch on your own. So listen. How to write a character sketch. First thing, you write the appearance of the character. How the character appear? Uh, is he tall or short, uh, thin or fat? Uh, how, he, how is his face, how is his um, uh, skin, etc. Then, next is the personality traits of the character. That is, how the character talks, acts, how the character expresses the emotions, how the character behaves with others, etc. So, you should write. And you can give examples from the story to each thing. Okay. Now, end the character sketch with your opinion about the character. Okay. So, do you remember how we uh, ended the character sketch? He is an interesting character. So, give your opinion about the character. So, this is how we can write a character sketch. So, now I am giving you an assignment. Natural, isn't it? After a class, there should be an assignment. That is all. So, I am going to give you an assignment. This is the assignment. Prepare the character sketch of Captain of the Guards. Don't you remember the tall, well-built Captain of the Guards who is playing chess with, a, with another officer? Don't you remember? So, you are going to prepare a character sketch of Captain of the Guards. Uh, here is some hints. Here are some hints for you. This is uh, from your text, uh, activity 4, um, I think the page number 23. Page number 23, you can uh, see this thing, activity 4. So here are some hints to write the character sketch. Tall, well-built, 
red hair, 25 years old, gold braided uniform, handsome, does his duties well, likes painting, likes playing chess and respect uh, for the uh, painters etc. So these are some hints. Developing these hints, write the character sketch uh, in your notebook. Remember not to ask for any help from others, your tuition teacher or any other guides or your father, mother, brother, sister etc. No, don't ask for help. You can write it on your own. You should write it on your own and uh, send your writing to me. I can uh, check your uh, writing and I can give you uh, suggestions to improve your writing. Okay. So I expect your writing uh, within two days. So uh, two days is the duration for this assignment. Okay. Won't you do it? Yes, you will do. I am sure you will do it. You should do it. And so uh, this is all for today. Uh, meet you again in the next class. And after this, don't forget to come to our group. We just have a discussion there about you know, your doubts. I can clear your doubts. So uh, come to the group and see you there. And see you in the next class. Till then, bye-bye. See you.